How are you all? Yes, I hope you all are fine. Welcome to our mathematics class. As we have started our first lesson of mathematics that is shapes. And in that we have started concept 1.2 that is reflection and symmetry. I hope you understand what is meant by reflection and what is symmetry. So shall we start our today's workbook? Right. So everyone open your workbook. All right, and start to solve questions. Just see. Now we will read question number one. What is question number one? Here we have multiple choice questions. All right. Question number one. Dash is a two D figure with four equal sides. Below that we have four options. First one is square. Second one is rectangle. Then Q and cuboid. So students, can you tell me who is having four equal sides and two D figure? Very good. Option number A. So in that bracket, you have to mention option number A. That is square. All right. Now, question number two. Dotted is a two D figure with three sides. Okay. Can you tell me? Who is having three sides? Very good. Triangle. So the answer is option number B. Right? Shall we move to a third question? Yes. Again, dash is a two D figure with four corners and two pairs of equal sides. Students, just careful. Just read the question carefully. Which is a two D figure? With four corners, all right, and two sides are equal. So this property we can say in square with rectangle also, right? So the answer of this question A slash B because we already know square has four equal sides and rectangle also has four equal sides. But what is the difference? Rectangle having opposite two sides are equal in Length. So the question number three having answer A or B. All right. Shall we move to question number four? Yes. That is our reflection and symmetry. Here also we have multiple choice question. Shall we read question number four? Yes. Keep your finger on each and every word. All right, students. Yes. The reflection of they have given letter N along the dotted line. Here they have drawn the dotted line downside, right? Horizontal dot, dotted line. So what will be the answer? The reflection of N will be very good. Option number B. All right. Now question number five. The reflection of apple. Again dotted line. So can you tell me what will be the reflection? Here we can say. Very good. What are, do you remember? We have learned water reflection, mirror reflection. Yes. So what will be the reflection of this apple? Very good. Option number A. So in the bracket you have to mention option number A. Alright. Now question number 6. What is the question number 6? Again, we have to show the reflection of that leaf along with the dotted line. So, just show us, just see carefully what is the answer of question number 6. The reflection of this leaf is yes, very good. Option number D. So, in this bracket, you have to mention option number D. Understood? Shall we move next? Okay. After that, we have fill in the blanks. Okay. What is our question number 7? Now reflection part done. Now we have to write the answer about symmetry. Do you remember? Yes. Question number 7. The line of symmetry divides the figure into how many halves? Yes. Line of symmetry divide into two halves. And Question number 8 is what? The dotted line, this 
He is known as what? Line of symmetry. So, what is the answer? Symmetry. Okay. Next question. Question number 9. Sorry, question number 10. Draw a vertical line of symmetry through the given figure. Here, we have to write the answer. Very short answer questions. Okay. Draw a vertical line of symmetry through the given figure. They have given one star. Okay. So, in that star, can you draw a line of symmetry? Yes. Very good. So, like that only, you have to draw. Okay. Now, question number 11. In that also, you have to draw the line of symmetry. Here, we can show vertical as well as horizontal. So, this figure has two lines of symmetry. Alright. Now, same for question number 12. Draw the line of symmetry through given figure. Here also, we can see, we can found two lines of symmetry. How many? Two lines of symmetry. Okay. Now, next question. Again, short answer questions. Circle the object that can have a line of symmetry. So, here we can see different types of objects here. So, can you tell me students which objects follow the line of symmetry? Just see carefully. Yes, very good. This pot, it follows line of symmetry because if we draw vertically, then we can get actual two parts, right? Of the same image. Then, for this car, very good. Again, if we draw line of symmetry and then first one. So, here we have a three object. Object one, two, three. They have line of symmetry, right? So, shall we move to the next? Okay. Next is question number 14. Complete the drawings by adding their reflections. Okay. So, here you have to draw the reflection of this butterfly and this flower. So, can you do it? Right. Like this. It will be. Okay. Now, the next type of question is long answer questions. Question number 15. How should we draw a line of symmetry? Do you remember students? How should we draw a line of symmetry? Yes. Line of symmetry which divides a given figure into two halves. Very good. The line of symmetry of a figure must be drawn such that the two parts of the figure are mirror image of one another. Right? So, can you give two examples? Yes, you can show any example. I have drawn one rectangle and triangle. And I have shown the line of symmetry in that figure. You can take your option. You can take your figure. Okay? No problem. Then, next question. Question number 16. Where can we see reflections? Students, can you tell me where can we see reflection? In the class, I have shown two types. Right? Okay. Draw the reflection of any two letters of English alphabet. After that, you have to draw reflection in any two letters. Okay? So, can you tell me where can we see reflection? We can see reflection in very good mirror and water as well as oil and shiny surface. We can see our reflection in water, mirror, oil and shiny surface. Okay? And after that, you can choose any two letters from English alphabet and you can show a reflection like this. Okay? Now, next is I apply. Here also we have to give very short answer question. Question number 17. Is the given child pattern periodic or non-periodic? Do you remember? After reflection and symmetry, we have learned periodic and non-periodic child pattern. Right? 
so here from this image can be see this figure shows periodic or non periodic very good this image can show periodic tiling right why because a tiling that has a repeating pattern here we cannot see gap right so the tiling pattern that has repeating pattern is called periodic tiling as the pattern repeats a basic tile this is the basic tile they are going to repeat to make this whole design right so as the pattern repeats a basic tile then given tiling pattern is periodic right okay next question that is question number 18 create a tiling pattern using squares and rectangles you have to take one shape of square and rectangle by using these two shapes you have to make one tiling pattern can we do students yes i have just made like this you can make by your choice all right yes now long answer question question number 19 what are tessellations do you remember first we have learned in the class reflection symmetry tiling pattern that is periodic and non periodic and last one what we have learned tessellations okay so what are tessellation used for here we have to give two examples so can you write the answer students yes i will give just hint tessellations are used to create decorative patterns on floors pavements roof of historical monuments and quilting right so we can use our tessellations on roof of historical monuments quilting or we can see on the floors right and after that just for example i have shown like this can you show students okay next is question number 20 Okay find and draw the basic shapes in each of the following tessellation they have already given the four pictures of tessellation from that tessellation can you find the basic shape yes from the example number a we can see clearly like we have one shape of triangle and this one okay do you know the name just count the sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 so hexagon very good so from figure b we can see triangle with square very good so triangle and square is a basic shape of figure number b right for figure number c yes here we have a three shape as the square red color square all right then triangle well very you can see triangle yes and then hexagon all right and in a question number d here we can see like rhombus right what is the name of the shape this name is uh, you don't have to see the name of this shape you have to just find out what is the basic shape of given tessellation understood so the next is that is a explorer hot type question short answer question question number 21 from tessellation using the given shape and color day here you have to form okay here they have given two shapes of triangle so by using triangle these two triangles can you make a tessellation yes like this you can make or you can choose your type all right and in the figure b with the help of this shape like that you can make your tessellation okay so this is about our workbook and the last question is question number 22 draw and color the following tessellation for the first wait a minute students for the first you have to use this arrow okay and by using this arrow you have to create 
tessellation and in example number b you have to use this triangle and by using these triangles you can do so many triangles okay like arrows use this triangle they have your own shape you can use many triangles and by using triangles you have to create tessellation okay so just i have show you this example number a and b you can make by your okay so this is about all the workbook of concept 1.2 all right so i hope you understood all the answers okay thank you